On July the 15th, 2009, Natalia Estemirova was kidnapped in Grozny, Chechnya. She was later found murdered. It was a kidnapping and murder case. That same year, the violence continued, leading to the deaths of several more human rights defenders in the North Caucasus alone. When faced with the devastating news of Natalia's death and those of her colleagues, civil rights defenders asked themselves one question. What can we do to protect human rights defenders at risk? At the core of the problem was that assaults were taking place without anyone knowing about them, making it impossible to protect or help the victims. There was a need to enable victims to send out a distress signal when attacked. In the spring of 2013, the Natalia Project, the first assault alarm system for human rights defenders, was launched. The Natalia Project is based upon three principles. By signing up through social media, people can participate in monitoring alarms triggered by human rights defenders wearing a wristband. When an alarm is triggered, it immediately alerts local partners and the headquarters of civil rights defenders, providing the exact time and position of the assault. When the signal reaches social media platforms, people are able to react and get involved. What makes the Natalia project unique is that it enables the distress signal to reach everyone simultaneously. The wristband is designed to be durable in order to withstand the brutality and violence of an assault. Its purpose is to serve as a lifeline. There are several ways to activate the alarm, which is also set off if removed by force. During the initial phase, 30 human rights defenders will be equipped with wristbands and trained in their use. By the end of 2014, the goal is to have 55 active bracelets protecting those at risk. With the Natalia project, human rights defenders at risk become connected to the world and those following in the brave footsteps of Natalia Estemirova are no longer alone. The world is watching. Sign up at nataliaproject.org.